We can take a look now at what's been making waves and grabbing people's attention on the web and on social media. Catalina Marchand de Abreu is with us for Media Watch. And Catalina, there's been backlash for Netflix as calls to cancel the streaming service reach over 600,000 signatures. Yes, Tom, the hashtag cancel Netflix has been trending on social media as a petition's been going around urging users to cancel their subscription to the streaming service. This backlash over a French film called Cuties that uh, premiered on the website on uh, September 9th. As you can see, 600,000 people have already signed this petition and the numbers are multiplying. This film actually won a Sundance uh, Award, Thomas, and it is the story of young Amy, a Senegalese girl that came to Paris and joined a dance band and uh, she uh, joins this dance band to uh, avoid the pressures of her family. The people that are against this film argue that the movie has sexualized uh, young women. As you can see, Netflix might have made a disservice when it comes to the promotion that they did towards this film. Netflix has apologized for this instance, saying that they are deeply sorry and they have updated the picture and the description of the film, but they have admitted that the, the image for the promotional picture was not appropriate, Thomas. Um, uh, they, uh, this was apparently not enough for some users. Some actually canceled their subscriptions to the website. This user saying that the reason given pedophilia uh, this uh, American uh, right-wing politician says uh, she compared the film to child pornography. So this user also said uh, she has a contradicting opinion, says this is what TikTok is doing too, and nobody is talking about cancelling TikTok. So this is a, definitely a debate that has to be done. Um, the film, maybe the marketing for the film was indeed a bit clumsy, but it does allude to a larger reality, which is the pressure that these teenage girls face on social media. And secondly, uh, Catalina, big tech names are also uh, making big moves ahead of this year's U.S. presidential election. Yes, more news surrounding the presidential elections. Uh, Microsoft has just announced that Russian hackers have interfered in the presidential elections. So in this regard, more and more big tech names are making big changes in order to avoid uh, misinformation campaigns in the upcoming presidential elections. Just this week, Google announced that they will be removing autocomplete uh, search option for users. This means that when they type in Trump is or Biden is, there will be no autocomplete search suggest suggestion as we are used to seeing. They said that this is because they will curb misleading information about US election. As you can see, I typed in Trump is and the first uh, search that comes up is Israel. So uh, this is definitely a way to remove uh, searches that do seem to be endorsing political parties or uh, politicians. Twitter has also announced changes this week, saying that they will expand misinformation rules to cover premature election results, as has Facebook. They said that they will uh, label posts from candidates that uh, declare premature victory. All in all, um, many big tech names announcing big moves before the presidential elections, avoiding misinformation on the web. Okay, Kathleen, with Media Watch, thank you very thank much. You.